Hi and happy 2012 everyone. Welcome to our first coaches show for the next part of the basketball season. We've got our basketball coaches today with us, Coach Winburn and Coach Hibbler, as we talk Ponca City High School basketball. Since the last time we talked with you, the basketball teams have played in a tournament. The uh, Lady Cats and Wildcats both went to the Ada basketball tournament where they competed. The Ponca City girls basketball team won one game and lost two in the Ada basketball tournament, thus putting their record at four and seven ahead of this week's scheduled games with Metro Christian and with Enid on Friday. Coach, your team's four and seven right now. The schedule has been very, very difficult, including your games at the East Central Tournament NATO, where you, you saw three very formidable opponents. That's correct. Uh, I was looking through the paper today, and of course, Shawnee won the won the tournament, they beat Edmund uh, Memorial, who's ranked third in 6A. They beat him by uh, about 20, I think it was 18 to be exact. Really fine ball club that we just couldn't do much with. Uh, we had a game plan and you practice those things, but uh, execution of a game plan is a lot different on Wednesday in your own gym as to when it is on Thursday when you actually play. And, we uh, just didn't get it done, and they're really a fine ball club and probably have a good opportunity to win state championship. And then the second day against Ida Bell, uh, a very formal opponent, uh, very athletic, uh, probably one of the most athletic teams we've played, exception of Northeast and maybe uh, Eisenhower. So there again, uh, it was a difficult game. We just didn't uh, get things going like we wanted it to. We saw this past weekend in Ada, we saw – uh, four or five of the top girls basketball teams, any class in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, when we went to Harrow about a month ago, we saw four or five of the top teams as well. So, you know, some years you get tournaments and teams are down a little bit. Some years like this year, Coach, I think we would agree that both of our tournaments uh, really were up, top-notch competition. Several teams, some are traditional powers, but some that aren't were better than they normally are. Uh, I'm going to make a statement out of those two tournaments, there's going to be a state champion come out of both of those. So I looked at both of them after playing in them uh, as tournament of champions. That's how good the, uh, the teams were that were that were present. And you're right, some years uh, it's not quite as difficult, not quite as hard. Um, been going to Ada now, this will be our fourth year, and, and it's as good as I've ever seen it. And uh, kind of reminded me of the first year down at Ada when we uh, didn't win a game down there. Fortunately, we uh, were able to win and, and beat Ada this year. Well, Ponca City in their final game on Saturday beat the host school Ada, uh, beat them quite decisively and played a good ball game. And I know it's hard for the girls to understand sometimes, but boy, when they play those really top teams and then they get somebody that is more of a talent level to them, that's really uh, probably a better barometer as to where they are and your girls knew early in that game on Saturday that they could take control, and they did take control, and they won the game uh, going away on Saturday morning. I think what, and I think you brought out a really good point, Phil. You have to measure things, uh, apples to apples and oranges to oranges. And uh, Of course, anybody can beat anyone on any given night, but uh, if, if one of those teams that uh, we have beat would have beat us, then, then I think we would have said, well, that was a winnable game that we let slip out of our hand. But when we go tackle the number one team in Class 5A, ranked 195th in the nation, and uh, we do the best we can, then I think that's probably what we've done. Uh, those are hard games to win, and as you can see, Edmund Memorial didn't, or anyone that's played them has, has suffered a loss. Um, I'm not sure they may not be the best team, but I haven't seen Edmund Santa Fe, who is an awfully good team as well. Uh, combine that with uh, a team that is... Uh, certainly young, the bench isn't very deep, you had an injury, so you had to kind of move some players around, you had to work around that, so this is the time of year when you want to get everybody healthy, sometimes that's not possible, so this team is continuing to grow, but uh, if I know you, you're going to find a silver lining in everything, and uh, the point guard play was good this weekend, the play on Saturday was good this weekend, the turnovers were cut way down this weekend, so there are some things that our girls basketball team can build on. They're all, those are all positive things that you've said. Uh, the point guard position, you know, we were without Joe from last year, losing a great point guard. Uh, and so we've been searching up to this point to find that, and, and we feel real comfortable now that we may have found that uh, point guard that's going to lead us the rest of the season at that position. Uh, she played outstanding, I thought, for three ball games, and then 
uh, even against the really good, formidable type opponent that, that could beat anyone, she uh, she established herself. You said the you like the defense your team is playing and you like the way they slow things down because that results in less turnover. So uh, game pace is a big thing with your girls' basketball team. If they can keep the game to a pace that you like and that they can move into, they're much more likely to be victorious the rest of the year. We feel if we can keep the game close and, and not let it get stretched out to where we have no opportunity at all to win, uh, that's not good. So we're going to try to keep the games close as we can, depend on our defense to hold people down, which they have. Uh, we probably held uh, Shawnee to one of their lowest outages. and uh, uh, So that's what we're trying to do and trying to accomplish. And uh, it, It's pretty tough to do that, but uh, if kids will buy into it and work hard at it, uh, then we'll get better at it during the season. The home fans will get a chance to watch Ponca City this week against Metro. And then on Friday night, Coach, we go to Enid. And uh, I know they had a great team last year. How's the Enid girls team this year? Um, probably as good as last year, maybe a little bit better. Uh, they've got the shelf kid that's returning. And, of course, the young Lee girl that uh, is going to be a very, very outstanding player and already is. So they've got two kids that uh, really creates problems for us and then some uh, some returning people that maybe didn't start but played an awful lot and uh, uh, were great role players. So I think they're a very solid basketball team. Uh, they will be uh, they will be difficult for us to deal with, especially at Enid. Well, the fans will get a chance to see Metro here and then at Enid on Friday night. Coach, we appreciate your time. Lady Cats 4-7 and seven as they head for another week of basketball. That's our girls, Coach's Corner for this week.